Sponsored by AT&T, Big Fast, Reliable, Secure. Welcome to the shoe. Ohio Stadium. And we are ready for the game. As number three, Michigan, comes into town to take on number two. The famous Ohio State Buckeyes. Hi, everyone. I'm Ryan Gus Johnson, along with the quarterback, Joel Klatt. And welcome to Columbus, Ohio. Hey, folks, this is the one we've all been waiting for. Two versus three. Both 11 and 0. A win today means everything as these two teams are not only a Big Ten championship, but a national championship. The story is Michigan. At that point. Blake Corum, their star running back, injured his knee last week against Illinois. He'll give it a go. How explosive will he be is the question. And for Ohio State, C.J. Stroud trying to avenge the loss last week in, I mean, last year in Ann Arbor, but this year he'll do it with the most prolific wide receiver in all of college football, Marvin Harrison Jr. Partner, hit me with it. <laughs> well, let's start with Blake Corum, because I think that's the biggest question in the game this year, is Blake Corum and his health. After that injury last week against Illinois, you know, everyone's wondering, how is he going to be able to move laterally, use that jump cut, which is really his superpower, but regardless of how effective he is, they're going to run the ball. That's their DNA. Because they've got to play on their terms. Their terms means keeping the ball away from C.J. Stroud, the Heisman favorite right now. 35 passing touchdowns. He's so smart, so accurate with the football. And he has great anticipation. And it also helps when you're throwing to a great elite set of wide receivers led by Marvin Harrison Jr. This is a guy that is so reliable. When you get in these big games as a quarterback, Gus, you need guys that are going to be open and reliable with their hands. And guess what? Marvin Harrison Jr. He's always open, never drops it. He's a quarterback's best friend. That's why he's the best wide receiver in America. Michigan's defense has to key on him, and they're going to have to keep safeties over the top of Marvin Harrison. That means that there's a lot of pressure on that defensive front seven to stop the run and get pressure on C.J. Stroud. Guys like Mike Morris, who was banged up, didn't play against Illinois. We'll see if he's able to give it a go here today against Ohio State. And then the pressure on the secondary, Mike Samer still. Gus, here's, here's a guy that that's going to be out there, played wide receiver in this game a year ago, and now he's going to be lined up at times against Marvin Harrison Jr., the best wide receiver in college football. The matchups are so good, and I cannot wait to see it. All right, time now to join the third member of our team on the sideline. He's a traveling man. Let's go downstairs to Tom Rinaldi. So thrilled to be with you guys for this great one. Not a lot of love lost between these two programs, as we know, and not between their two head coaches. It all started back in 2020 after a testing coach's conference call when Ryan Day reportedly told his team we're going to hang a hundred on Michigan. After Michigan won last season, Jim Harbaugh 
ended his post-game press conference with an now infamous comment. Some people are supposed to be in the national for back to back for the interview. They didn't. This week, Harbaugh acknowledged that it was in fact a jab at Ryan Day, saying it was definitely a counterpunch by me to the comment that they're going to hang a hundred on us. He did say he respects and appreciates Day as a coach. Day did not get involved directly in the World Works this week, but did say. You're shaped by how you play in this game, and we have the scars to prove it. We've all built everything we've done for this day. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, guys. The game in the shoe. All right, Doc, thank you very much. Perfect weather today. It's sunny, 50 degrees, no wind, no rain. This series dates back to 1897 in a meeting in Ann Arbor. It's the second ever meeting with both teams, 11 and 0. The last time Michigan won here in Columbus, 2000. So it's been 22 Michigan years. Won the so that means every game Ohio State, State has been here. Receive the football. 11 and 0. 11 and 0. The greatest rivalry in college sports, Michigan, Ohio State. In front of over a hundred thousand. Everything on the line, and here we go. Jake Moody sends it away. Xavier Johnson back deep. He'll get a shot. Rings it up from his five yard line. Continues to run, and he'll get close to the 20 before being brought down. TJ Guy with the tackle on special teams. That'll bring on Heisman candidate CJ Stroud. Well, this is a guy who understands so big stages really and he understands pressure. He actually played really well sure. against Michigan a year ago. Threw for almost 400 yards in that game. And now he's come out this year and had a phenomenal season. Almost 3,000 yards so far throwing the ball. 35 touchdowns. And he does not turn it over. That's going to have to continue here today, obviously, in a big game. But, Gus, it really comes down to this. Mm-hmm. If you want to win the Heisman Trophy, you got to play great on mm-hmm. big stages. There is not a bigger stage no, in our sport than this match. game. Andrew Buckeye down on the kickoff. Looks like it's C.J. Hicks, freshman from Dayton. Let's take a look. Uh, as Johnson was returning this, it's friendly fire here as they ran into each other. It looks like, yeah, you see that C.J. Hicks, their knees hit. Hicks is a highly recruited freshman who came in as a five-star linebacker, the number seven recruit overall in the country. He'll be walked off the field after the opening kick. Last week, Ohio State beat Maryland 43-30 to in College Park. And they have a star player, Galen Hayden. Keep your eyes on this young man, folks. Number five for Ohio State. He's a true freshman running back from Memphis, Tennessee. Almost rushed for 150 yards last week in College Park. First down and 10 at the 19-yard line. Mayan Williams, we didn't play last week at running back. The nursing a lower body injury, number three, in the starting lineup today. He's had a sensational season. 